For Morningstar.ca, I'm Nikita Arora. Yves Rebite says trailer fees on advisor class ETFs need to go. He's here today to tell us why. Eve, tell us what advisor class means in the ETF space. So advisor class ETFs are a specific category of ETFs that embed some additional level of fees or compensation that are meant to compensate advisors for recommending these ETFs to, to their clients. They're not dissimilar to the fees, the so-called trailer fees that you find within the mutual fund industry. And exactly how common are advisor class ETFs in Canada? So we have about 350 plus ETFs in Canada overall uh, with some assets, uh, aggregate assets around $90 uh, billion. Of these ETFs, about 90 or so ha are an advisor series version uh, of, of the main ETF, if you will, and the assets uh, that they total or represent are about $800 million. Okay, so how do the fees on these ETFs stack up on top of the regular ETFs? So they are, they are fees that generally can be 50 basis points or so per annum, and they essentially get, uh, get subtracted uh, from the fund um, every year and get dispersed to the investment advisor whose client holds these uh, advisor series ETFs. Now the ETF companies offering advisor class say that they're good for investors, giving them more choice on how to pay for advice. What do you think? I think it's really an issue uh, at this particular juncture of, of leadership. And, and the reason why I'm highlighting uh, what I believe needs to happen, which is the elimination of these fees, is I think the ETF industry has the opportunity here to show some leadership in response to the recent uh, release of a report by Professor Douglas uh, Cumming um, from Schulich, uh, who um, essentially came out with a study that the OSC asked him for uh, to look at the effect that trailer fees have on mutual fund um, flows um, and ultimately performance. And that report was, in my mind, unequivocally uh, clear in its conclusion, which was that these fees represent a conflict of interest and need to be eliminated. And so since the ETF industry actually does have some of these ETFs, I think for them to show leadership would be to say, you know what, they may have had some usefulness at some point in time in terms of trying to get investors or advisors looking at the ETF space and considering deploying some of these ETFs within their practice uh, if they needed that kind of compensation, I think now we've moved beyond that and I think it's time for these fees to be eliminated. So the leaders in the ETF industry, in my mind, have a great opportunity to respond to the Ontario Securities Commission um, study and essentially say, yeah, let's do away with these. There's only $800 million of assets within these. Uh, the top 20 of these 90 funds uh, represent about 80% of those assets. So once you've kind of gotten rid of those, and by getting rid of those, I would suggest maybe they can just be simply converted into the common class ETFs, which would just remove that extra level of fees. And of course, advisors within their practice, they can look at other means and ways in which they can be compensated by their clients, but in a manner that's fully transparent. And I'm, very, uh, I'm a very big fan of ETFs for their transparency and their cost uh, efficiency. And if you have trailer fees within the ETF space, in my mind, both of those particular elements, uh, some of their value is essentially being, uh, being taken away. Eve, thanks for making your case today. Thanks for having me, Nikita. For more on trailer fees, click on the link below this video. Visit Morningstar.ca for your investment news and updates. Mm -hmm.